So you want to create a tab for every day of the year. We're going to have to use app script for this. So let's go to extensions app script. Once we're here, we can create a function called create every tab or anything you want. We're going to first create a variable date equals new date and we're going to name or number the year. So let's say we're setting up for next year 2025. We want month zero and day zero. This is the very first day of the year, January 1st. Now to create each of the tabs, we're going to do a while loop. We're going to take date dot and as long as the date remains the same full year, so 2025, we're going to keep doing this loop. This loop is going to create a sheet and then add one to the date so that we create a sheet. And we're going to name the sheet the name of the day. Okay, so let's do const sheet name equals utilities dot format date. We want the date and we're going to, let's say GMT plus six. We need to name a time zone. We can do the time zone of the sheet if we want, but we're just going to hard code this, the time zone. And we're also going to need the format. Format here, I'm going to do three months initials and the day. So this will be like January will be J-A-N, March will be M-A-R. It'll be just the first three letters of the month and then the number of the day. Okay, we're going to create a little variable S equals spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. We're going to use that to get sheet name. And now we can duplicate this if we want, but we actually don't want to. We just want to insert sheet. We're going to insert the sheet with the sheet name, this formatted date as the sheet name. And to finish off of this loop, we have to add one to the day. So we'll take date, set date, and we'll take the date again, get date, and we'll plus one, add one. So now instead of sheet one, we're going to run this. You're going to need to authorize. The very first time you run it, you're going to have to authorize. Once it authorizes, it's going to start executing and we can see all of them here. So it's just adding one every single time and it's gonna go through the entire year. We're gonna have a tab for every single day of the year and it's gonna be named after the month and the day. We can change that name here with any format we want. We can have the whole month, we can set a zero in front of the number, we can format this with the year, like year, year, hyphen, day, day, month, month, or day, month, year, however you want. You can format it here differently. And that's how you create a tab for every day of the year.